What's up, everybody? Hold on one second. Let me close this door. Now, I'm back. Uh, even though I've already done a prediction on the upcoming UFC light heavyweight championship title fight between Jiri and Glover Teixeira, I've picked Jiri to win this fight. Here's a breakdown of how I think Glover can beat him. Actually, looking back at it, Jiri hasn't had many fights in the UFC. Glover's been in there for a long time, almost 10 years. <clears throat> So, I've seen both skill sets. Clearly, Jerry's better on the feet. He can probably win this fight easier on the feet than Glover can. But you can't. Got to look at Glover's overall skill set. Glover is a is a slugger. He can strike on the feet. Also, he can wrestle. He can do jujitsu. He can do all the things of an MMA fighter. So it makes sense that he's the UFC light heavyweight champion. Um, at his age, is ridiculous. In his forties, you know, that's that's amazing though. So it's just unheard of. But here's how Glover needs to fight Jiri. It's simple. If he's going to fight Jiri, he needs to clinch him, pull him in close. Don't give Jiri any kind of range on the feet and get caught with a big hook or a big kick or anything. He needs to get in close and hit him and go to the body, face, body, face, body, you know, whatever you got to do. Use some elbows if you have to. As long, uh, not, not longer than you have to. Now, Glover is, I don't think, out of a knock, if this fight were to end in a knockout, clearly I'd pick Jiri. But Glover can still get a knockout. But I'd say the chances are more in Jiri's favor. So for Glover, he needs to, if he has to stand with him, stay close, hit him, dirty box him, clinch fight, do what Stipe did with DC. Hit him in the body, hit him in the face, confuse him on the feet, stay close. Though. Don't use, you don't have the range advantage that Jiri would have in that fight. Uh, use your wrestling takedowns. If Jerry goes for a leg kick, simply turn him to a single leg or maybe a double leg and take him down. Hold him there. Beat him up. Use your ground and pound. Uh, go for submissions from the top, obviously. I'm not saying Jerry doesn't know how to wrestle or doesn't have any jiu-jitsu, but we haven't seen it, seen it very much yet. It's all been stand-up, right? So take him where he's never been before in the UFC. I'm not saying that Glover has a huge advantage there, but as far as from what we've seen, I would have to say Glover would be most likely to win that fight on the ground with a submission. He has good rear naked chokes. He has arm triangle chokes. He's got good arm bars. He's got probably, and he's got jujitsu. He probably has knee bars, probably has kimura locks. He probably has all kinds of stuff that he can use to his advantage on the ground. And again, we don't know if Jerry can defend all that stuff. He Maybe he can. We just haven't seen it yet. That's all. I'm not saying he can't do it. I'm just saying in terms of fighting styles, what, how I see a fight going, how I see who winning what. Glover would need to take him to the ground. His, his chances on the feet are not done for. He's not done for. He can box standing up now, and he has some power. He can, he can easily carve a guy up on the feet, but Jerry's a very good striker, so he might not want to try that any longer than he needs to. He needs to use the wrestling, take him down, ground and pound him, constantly look for submissions, control the positioning on the ground. Don't be too boring because then sometimes you'll have a referee try to stand the fight up, and boom, you're in Jerry's world. But I would say wrestle him. Make the fight last. If you can get that fight to the ground, that's what you need to do, Glover. Uh, make him carry your weight. You know, again, go look for rear naked chokes. Jerry will probably defend that because he's really good with rear naked chokes, guillotine chokes. Thing is, if you're constantly on top of Jerry for at least two rounds, heading into the third, fourth round, the championship rounds, Jerry's probably going to get tired. So he's going to have to use that. And then once he gets tired, then you can stand with him and trade with him more and have more of a chance to survive. Like Stipe did in the first Francis fight. He used wrestling. He made Francis carry his weight on the ground. And then come time in the championship rounds when they were standing up, Stipe had the advantage in the first fight. So that's what Glover needs to do if he wants to win this fight by decision or a late submission or some vicious ground and pound later. If he doesn't get a decision, he gets a third 